so I keep this hand um, because I have the so that again the whole four horsemen thing. Uh, one of them is Saga. The other one is I have a Shredder and Lantern combo. Uh, so I have two of the four horsemen, so I keep it. Uh, Propane Tutor is also going to be a little uh, healthier. Are you worried here about colored mana? I, oh, I'm not worried about it. Uh, if I need to, I can mill myself to colored mana with the Shredder and the Lantern, or I can filter mana through Guardians. Yeah, so they're on dredge. I play the lantern first because I know you know they they've already fetched and they're not going to get information out of that. It's just me getting information. Yeah. Yeah. I think they dredge a ton here. So them dredging is actually going to race my propane tutor. Bunch of stuff. So even if I sack my lantern, um, I'm probably going to die here on my 13. There's 12 damage on board. Yeah. Um, the Dave Exiled one creeping chill. I think. So they'll just kill me with the last creeping chill. So, yes. Uh, game two. Uh, on the sideboard for this matchup. Um, uh, I sided out the two needles, and yep. I sided in the two, or I sided in Nihil Spell Bomb and Soul Guide Lantern. Yep. I kept this, and uh, I mean, we'll find out here in a second, but the reasoning why is uh, because Saga is going to be able to let me grab a graveyard date. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, and then it could do like a pick your poison or something here on enchantments. Yeah. But I mean, I'm willing to risk that. You have three Sagas, just go for it. <laughs> yeah. Good old three saga hand. So I figured they would not keep a hand unless they had some answer to bridge or graveyard. Uh, so I figure they probably do, and there it is. They have a yeah. tear in hand. I naturally draw the Graph Digger's Cage off the, what was that, the Bobble, I think it was? So I do have to worry about those. So now I just have to face these two. And because I have the food token, I should be okay. And then I'll be able to make blockers with the saga. But then I end up drawing bridge anyways. So now they're in a race to uh, try to beat out before I draw the lantern. Uh, so I, I grabbed the duress because I know that they tried to draw a card for the cathartic reunion and I figure they probably tried to draw some sort of uh, removal for one of my artifacts, if not multiple, if they have it. So I tried yeah. to go for the duress before anything. And these two should assemble the lock for me anyways. And so it was, it was, I sat here for a little bit trying to figure out which one to pick. I think I picked the Otherworldly Gaze. 
uh, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Mm, I don't know if that's right. What's that? Yes, with Cathartical Union, it's not that great if you have if it's the last card. Yeah. Um, I figured that uh, one. I figured that Otherworld Legates cost more mana, uh, and yeah. it meant that they would have to they have to cast and they use Gemstone Caverns to cast it because they don't have blue otherwise. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, the costing less, I was worried about because with Cathartic Reunion, if they draw like a wear and tear, uh, then they won't be able to cast it on the same turn because they won't have enough mana. Right. Yeah. So I, I get the flag rate, and the reason why is um, this way, if they try to uh, kill one of the artifact uh, removal things, um, mm -hmm. then uh, at least the Flag rate won't be there. So even if they were able to kill all three of these, they also still have to worry about bridge because, uh, like, conflagrate can get around bridge, but otherwise, like, it's pretty safe. Yeah. And they can see. Uh, yeah. Uh, Nap keep. <laughs> it's a good one. <laughs> yeah. And again, I fully expect that they uh, kept a hand with some sort of removal. Yeah. Uh, and I top deck under rest there, which is perfect. And so, yeah, they had a wear and tear, and I grabbed that. The rest of the hand is going to be absolute crap. Boundary, and I'm pretty sure they just go for this. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I let that happen because if I need to, I can just kill the portable hole later with the uh, excuse me, yeah. assassin's trophy. And they don't have anything that I, worth exiling anyways right now. Mm -hmm. uh, they had to use the portable hole right then and there, otherwise I'd be able to copy my land key with uh, six cards. I notice I'm not milling my opponent here. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll do what? Yeah. So I tap my mana this way so that I can make sure I can copy the, the cage. Sure. And, oh yeah, now that I have Cage out, I can start milling it. Uh, and so something to note there, at the end of my opponent's turn, I did not use Fomori Vault. And the reason why is because I don't want them, I, I want to keep his Microsoft Gardens to copy a cage if I have to. Uh, mm -hmm. So if they instant speed and kill a cage and I tap out because of Vault, then it can be a uh, serious trouble for me. So I'd rather wait until I can Vault and uh, uh, make sure that I'm digging to a card that, uh, well, make sure that the cage is safe. That I'm digging to a card that I actually need. I guess you have a tw 12 turn ability there. Oh, where at the clock? Yeah, yeah the clock's like 12 turns. Oh, yeah. And yeah. that's, that's it because I have cookbook. Yeah. So, yeah, they can see from here, I think, because of the, the vault cage and because they can't race cookbook. Mm -hmm. I'm going to draw a shredder next, and it's just it's going to end up very, very poorly. So, well, 
relatively easy grid matchup.